Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Continuing our 10 interesting fact series of the Ghost Crew, today we're going to look at the Ghost's badass pilot and fearless leader, Harrison Dula. In our previous video in this series, we looked at 10 interesting facts about Kane and Jarrus, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. Harrison Dula was a Twi'lek female and was born the daughter of General Cham Syndulla on Ryloth. She became an expert pilot, left her homeworld and her father's planetary resistance behind, and set off to fight against the Empire and would eventually become a central figure in the early rebellion against the Galactic Empire and the formation of the Alliance to Restore the Republic. Harrison Dula has become a favorite character of mine as she grew to become an integral part of the Rebel Alliance through determination, valor, and cunning. Hera is seriously a badass. So here are 10 interesting facts about Hera Syndulla. Number 1. Hera's decision to become a pilot grew from her witnessing the Clone Wars. Born on the planet Ryloth to her father General Cham Syndulla and mother Tislera, Hera was a little girl during the time of the Clone Wars. Her father Cham was a prominent Twi'lek revolutionary who had fought against the Confederacy of Independent Systems in the Clone Wars, fighting to liberate Ryloth with the help of Republic forces and then later against the Galactic Empire once the Republic turned into the Galactic Empire and stayed on Ryloth. During the Clone Wars, Ryloth was invaded by the Separatist army and held for some time before the Republic army, the Jedi, and the Twi'lek Resistance, which was led by Hera's father, Cham, was able to defeat the Separatists and repel their forces. It was during this time that Hera was inspired by the pilot she witnessed fighting on her homeworld to pursue becoming a pilot herself. Hera made an appearance in the Clone Wars Season 1 episode, Liberty on Ryloth, where she does appear to have a different skin color than in Rebels, but we'll let that one slide. Number 2. Hera found her astromech chopper from the wreckage of a starfighter. During the Clone Wars, as the Battle of Ryloth raged on her home planet, a BTL Y-Wing starfighter crashed in front of Hera's home. Though the pilot died, Hera managed to pull an old astromech droid from the wreckage. The droid was a C-1 astromech whose designation was C-110P. C-110P was eventually given the nickname Chopper and would grow to become a loyal, brave, sassy, and cantankerous member of Hera's ghost crew. Number 3. Hera was an exceptionally skilled pilot. Hera first honed her skills as a rebel pilot during a relief mission to Ryloth following a failed assassination attempt on Emperor Palpatine and his Sith apprentice Darth Vader which took place in 14 BBY or roughly 5 years after Order 66. Following that event, Hera went on to pilot several other ships during her time fighting alongside the Rebellion, including the Ghost and the Phantom, as well as a prototype B-Wing starfighter. Sometime after the Battle of Yavin, and now a general, Hera was stationed on a Lurker Hulk class battleship, which was being used as a flight school by the Rebel Alliance. There she helped train new recruits into rebel pilots. Her piloting prowess was instrumental in combating the Empire throughout the early days of the Rebellion and all the way up to the downfall of the Empire following the Galactic Concordance, which was the peace treaty between the Rebel Alliance and the Empire that marked the end of the Galactic Civil War and the Empire's official defeat. Number 4. Hera Created a Rebel Cell Hera, Kane and Jarrus, and Chopper formed a rebel cell known as the Spectres that was based on their ship, the Ghost. As time went on, the Ghost crew grew and were eventually joined by the Lasat warrior, Garaz Eberelios, and the former Mandalorian Imperial cadet, Sabine Wren. Although it's not entirely clear as to how Zeb and Sabine came to join the Ghost crew, Zeb probably joined sometime right after the Empire decimated his home world of Lasan, and Sabine probably joined the Ghost crew after she escaped the Imperial Academy and renounced the Empire. Sometime later, Sabine, Zeb, and Kanan were tasked with stealing some crates containing blasters from the Empire on the planet Lothal. During their mission, the group encountered Ezra Bridger, a 14-year-old Force-sensitive orphan who lived on the streets of Lothal's capital city. Ezra eventually joined the Ghost Crew and would later become Kanan Jarrus's Jedi Padawan. Number 5. Hera and her father had a strained relationship. 
Following the defeat of the Separatists during the Clone Wars, the Galactic Republic became the Galactic Empire and refused to leave Ryloth, working to extract and strip as many resources from Ryloth as possible. As a result, the Free Ryloth Movement grew, led by Hera's father, Cham Syndulla. They worked to subvert and end the Imperial occupation of Ryloth. As fighting between the Free Ryloth Movement and the Empire grew, Hera's mother, Tislera, was killed. Tislera's death left Cham totally devoted to overthrowing the Imperial occupation and he prioritized the liberation of Ryloth as his most important duty. Cham came to prioritize Ryloth's freedom over his own family. As a result, strains developed in his relationship with Hera. Hera was angry at Cham for neglecting her, while Cham was upset with his daughter for devoting more attention to her newly acquired astromech, Chopper, whom he labeled a second-rate junk pile. Hera's relationship with Cham was further strained when she left Ryloth to begin to work at a larger rebellion against the Empire, rather than taking part in the Twi'lek resistance struggle. For several years, Cham and Hera did not speak to each other. Hera eventually re reached out to Cham to request his assistance in helping the Ghost Crew capture an Imperial Quasar Fire-class cruiser carrier to provide a safe refuge for the Rebellion's Phoenix Squadron which piloted A-Wing Starfighters. Cham agreed to help, albeit for his own ulterior motives of destroying the Imperial cruiser carrier, but he eventually changed his mind and assisted the Ghost Crew in capturing the cruiser. Number 6. Hera made an appearance of sorts in Rogue One. During the movie Rogue One, Jin Erso had just pleaded with the Rebel Alliance leadership and council to attack the Citadel Tower on Scarif, which was an Imperial security complex that housed the plans for the Death Star. But Rebel leadership decided against attacking the Citadel Tower. Immediately following that discussion, Jin Erso walked away frustrated by the Alliance's decision not to attack. As Jin walked towards Chirrut Imwe and Baze Malbus, a page over the loudspeaker of the rebel base on Yavin 4 can be heard, which states, General Sindula, please report to the brief room. This little easter egg provides fans with the knowledge that Hera was an acting general leading up to the destruction of the first Death Star. Number 7. Hera was on Hoth prior to the Battle of Hoth. As Imperial probe droids descended upon the galaxy in search of rebel bases and installations, the Rebel Alliance had already fortified themselves on the desolate ice planet of Hoth with their new base of operations, which was called Echo Base. Because of the Empire search for the secret rebel base, rebel starship activity on Hoth was restricted in an attempt to continue to conceal the location of the secretive base. Additionally, the planet's cold temperatures caused the engines of speeders to ice over, which further limited starship activity. Unable to use her piloting skills in the sky there, Hera was still a pivotal part of the Rebellion's work, however. She helped Han Solo and Princess Leia Organa find parts that could be used for the base's shield generator, and this action would prove to be crucial. After an Imperial Viper probe droid discovered Echo Base's presence on Hoth, the Empire attacked the Rebel base in force. The combined efforts of the Rebels, as well as their shield generator holding just long enough, provided the Rebel forces with time to evacuate some of their forces rather than be completely obliterated by the Empire. Number 8. Hera fought in the Battle of Endor even though Emperor Palpatine had foreseen the Rebel Alliance's planned attack on the second Death Star and prepared a trap for the Rebels, the Rebel Alliance was still successful in their attack, which ultimately resulted in the Sith Lord's presumed demise. Although it hasn't yet been explicitly stated what Hera's role was during the battle, I'm assuming Hera led a squadron of pilots that fought in the space battle that helped blow up the second Death Star. Following the defeat of the Empire over the forest moon of Endor and the destruction of the second Death Star, Rebel forces and native Ewoks celebrated the Rebel Alliance's victory. As the Ewoks prepared a feast for the celebration, they intended to cook several captured Imperial stormtroopers. Which, I mean, who wouldn't? Princess Leia quickly intervened, however, and stopped the Ewoks. Princess Leia asked General Han Solo and Chewbacca to go to Hera's camp on Endor and ask Hera for ration bars to help feed the hungry Ewoks. The two reluctantly went to Hera, but Hera would only give them the rations if Han admitted that the Ghost was a better ship than the Millennium Falcon. Eventually, Han grudgingly admitted that the Ghost was better than the Falcon. Hera then gave them permission to take the rations, and Han and Chewie were able to help Leia and save the Stormtroopers from the Ewoks' hunger. 
Number 9. Hera continued to serve the New Republic. As the Empire was crumbling and the New Republic was growing from its ashes, General Syndulla continued to provide her much-needed skills and knowledge to the burgeoning New Republic. Hera continued the fight against a fractured and collapsing empire, assisting New Republic forces in toppling the remaining Imperial holdouts that refused to surrender. As the acting general aboard the Lodestar, along with New Republic intelligence, Hera assigned Alphabet Squadron to track down and destroy the 204th Imperial Fighter Wing, also known as Shadow Wing, which was a mysterious and lethal force of TIE Fighters who were exacting bloody and reckless vengeance in the twilight of the Empire's reign. Number 10. Hera's name is based off of a Greek god. Hera was named after the ancient Greek goddess Hera, whose name means protector. Hera was the wife and the sister of the Greek god Zeus, and was the goddess of women, childbirth, and marriage. Star Wars Rebels creators Simon Kinberg and Dave Filoni also confirmed that several other characters in the show were named after either historical and or biblical characters in order to give their names a sense of purpose and meaning that would reflect their characters. And there you have it. There's 10 interesting facts about the rebel pilot, ghost crew leader, and overall badass, Harrison Dula. Hera has become a favorite of mine and Danny, and a welcomed addition to the Star Wars canon. But what do you guys think about some of the facts we've discussed? What are some of your favorite facts or moments about Hera Syndulla? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Follow Dan's On Fandoms on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr, all at Dan's On Fandoms. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.